look at one of THQ's classic series from the mid-2000s, MX vs. ATV. Now while these games might may be classic, I'm going for what's considered the best MX vs. ATV, Reflex, released in 2009 for last gen and PC. So MX vs. ATV Reflex has no story at all, and there's three modes. There's free play, career, and online play. The career is the player th going through tons of events consisting of races, time trials, and freestyle. The game is a bit different than the older games. The driving is mostly the same, but now there's reflex mode, which is controlled with the right analog stick. Now this dominates the racing because you don't want to fly off your bike or motorcycle. The racing in the game is actually pretty fantastic on most levels. Speaking of racing though, there is a couple vehicles. There's the ATVs, the bikes, trucks, and, and, and a couple other forms of cars. My favorites is what you'll see for most of this review, which is the ATV. I think I'm the best with the ATV and I, it definitely controls the best. I'm just kind of an ATV guy. Certain stuff though will cause your ATV or bike to go out of control. There's around 10 courses of the game and they're spread out across three or four big ass maps including the stadium maps. Each course is well designed for the most part. They are in a variety of places and the stadium tracks can be a bit boring but you can get some great jumps off this. That's one thing on the maps is getting these big jumps you have to use reflex mode and staying on your vehicle when you land. The trucks and cars, you don't have to worry about reflex mode at all. You just drive and it's pretty boring. Your cars can still flip though. You can do tricks by holding the left bumper and moving the analog stick, but this absolutely serves no purpose unless you're in like freestyle. When you're doing freestyle, you have to do tricks to get points and you want to just do a consistent amount of tricks and land them all, which can be a bit difficult with the reflex mode. To progress in the game, you have to complete events for each championship, and once you complete enough events, you unlock the next championship. The racing is pretty solid on the tracks, and they're all well designed, except for one. One map is just garbage. There is online, and there's still actually people playing online, and they beat my ass because they've probably been playing this game for hella long, but there are people playing. When it comes to how good the game is, like graphically, it looks, it looks pretty good. The vehicles all look really good, and it all sounds good. The character models are decent, and the game never slowed down for me. The game looks fine, but you're not going to be looking really at the game that much. I mean, you're going fast, it doesn't matter. The sound was fine. Standard motorcycle and ATV sounds, and the terrain was, it sounded good on the terrain. The music in the game was excellent, with all heavy metal tracks, and the soundtrack was good. I love the music in this game, actually, it's, it's pretty great. I would have it in here, but it's all copyrighted. However, it's not the only thing in the pre presentation that just isn't average. The presentation is pretty pretty just average actually for the most part besides the music I mean there's nothing really special about it it's your standard motocross ATV presentation with excellent music playing well it may seem like this might be just your average motorcycle game you'd be close to right I have a few problems with it one map is just terrible with tons of little bumps everywhere in this forest the ATVs and bikes for some reason have trouble doing it the next problem is really the only problem I have with the game which is the crummy spawning system it's really crummy this game is so repetitive, it is ridiculous though. This game is such a grind fest. fest. There's a bunch of these playlists with events, and after the first like five, you realize how repetitious this is. This game is super repetitive, like holy shit. It starts out with a simple three lap and then a time trial. Then you have to do five or six laps on each course multiple times. These events have you doing the same tracks over and over and over. It's ridiculous. It takes forever. These are like 12 minute races and you have to do like three of them. It drags on. These races are just too long and it drags on and on and on. The racing is good. The reflex mode is good. And even the AI is decent with, a, with good rubber banding for the most part. But 10 to 15 minute races are just too long for me. I mean, okay, there, maybe there's just one or two in the game. No, it's every single map. Like, that's a lot. If you play this game, you will probably end up getting bored with it or stop playing due to the repetition. Overall, though, should this game be played? Well, yeah, I think so. I mean, despite its repetition, I have to say the racing is pretty superb on the most part. I mean, I think it's pretty fun, and it's pretty fun to just try to even stay on the bike and despite its repetition that I mentioned it's definitely worth playing out of all the ATV and bike games I've ever played. This is definitely my favorite but then again the only other bike game I've ever played is Excite Bike. So while it can be a bit generic and repetitious I still think it's a great racing game and uh, have a good one.